Uh, hi YouTube. Uh, I'm just gonna go over this part uh, pulled from a car. It's the um, basically a Mercedes-Benz controller for ESP 163-545-8032. Uh, from what I could find out uh, when I researched it, it looks like some kind of an ABS traction control module. So I thought it would be a good idea. Uh, this one is faulty. I don't have any idea what's wrong with it. Um, obviously, it was pulled from a car. It was sitting in the trunk and there's no way to know. I'm not going to um, try to sell this or profit from it. It's pretty old. And I'm pretty sure it was a replacement that was faulty and changed. So uh, let's have a look under the hood. As you can see, uh, there's it looks like some tabs here that have been bent over to hold down this plate. And then I see holes here where it looks like screws are coming down from the other side, perhaps holding a board down to this metal plate. So let's have a go at it. I have my screwdriver here. I'm going to start by trying to bend up these tabs. Okay, so I should be able to carefully bend these up. I could even close it afterwards if I'm careful enough. Just have to bend it like this. Um, now, I don't know if anyone else has one of these things, uh, if they have any more clues as to what's inside, if there's any usable parts, um, and you know it, what exactly it does. Please share it in the comments. Um, I'm assuming it just some some kind of a microcontroller computer to read information from the wheels and from the uh, various sensors and handle the steering and, and anti-lock brake system, traction control, you know, to all the wheels. That's what I'm assuming. All right, so we got all the tabs pulled. Uh, it's hanging on still a little bit. I think I, I didn't bend this completely. So let's give this a little bit more vertical. Okay, and here. Okay, and oh, this part here, it's almost up. I think there's a, what am I hanging on to here? Oh, here comes the can. Okay, just flip it over. And here we are. Okay, so there we are inside. You can see quite a bit going on. Uh, now, I don't have any idea what this does. Those are the screws that hold the board down. As you can see, they are, um, they look like those hex star type uh, bolts here. Let's see, lots of resistors, surface mount, a few controllers. Let's have a look at what they are. See if, um, if any of you uh, recognize them. So we'll zoom in here. I hope this zoom works and that you can see what's happening here. Okay, we'll zoom in a bit more. Now the video is gonna get a bit grainy, I apologize. But this is, as you can see, uh, something from Texas Instruments. Let's have a look at the date code. Is that 94? No, can't be. 9309, possibly. Um, I see here 19157, there's a 94 written here as well. Let's see, there's anything else? Uh, Tevis, T-E-V-E-S, it says here. Again, I'm gonna try to focus in on it. There, 93. Um, 93, I can't tell if that's, I'm assuming that's the, the year. See, 9347, 9348, that could be the 1993, but that can't be right. It's too old. There's no way. 9347? No. Okay. Um... Yeah, apparently, I mean, from what I can tell, this was produced sometime in 93, or I see this common number everywhere. Uh, but this was pulled from a, a 2001 Mercedes. 
um, truck. So I can't believe this is that old. I mean, it says here on the bottom here, 5001. Was that the 50th week of 2001? Hmm. I'm not sure. And I see here there's a date. I'm not sure if that's a date or a part number. 0204. Um, oh, here it says 0148. 2001, maybe. So maybe someone can um, can figure this out and let me know, you know, what these numbers mean as far as the date code. This one's hard to read. If you hold it at just the right angle, uh, I'd have to be kind of like that. You can kind of just barely make out a faint number there. Is that a Motorola chip? Kind of looks like M there. And I cannot tell what it says on it. So, anyway, there you have it. I'm going to zoom out again so you can see the whole board. But a mix of different parts. Uh, again, I'm not sure exactly why the dates would be so different. I'm not, I can't believe this is that old. And it would be in a board that's, you know, six, five to six years later. Um, unless, you know, you have an idea. You know, I see here uh, 03. I'm not sure there's a date or something over here 0205 could that mean 2002 uh, again I don't know there's lots of different uh, dates it, apparently on this board and I'm curious to find out exactly you know what year this was made uh, the on the outside here the controller board doesn't really mention anything again FD01 MO3 does that mean year 01 month 03 uh i don't know i don't really know um but in any case the car that this was uh in was a 2001 so if that's correct and these are 94 um uh, you know I'm, it sounds a little bit odd that it would be placed in a in a car you know and, and a mix of match of parts here that are so different um, so thanks again for watching. Hope, uh, you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas about more about what this module does and exactly what the date codes are, uh, please feel free to leave uh, a comment in this video as always. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.